Yo, what's up? It's Dirty Earn, aka Big Earn, aka Saratoga Ghost, up in here. JC brought me back to New York, and my roots came back, dog. I'm back up in the building, you know what I'm saying? And good news, I'm gonna be your narrator for this afternoon. So hang tight, stick in there, and watch what we got going on. First scene, cut to us, New York City, Bandelay crib, picking up some shoes. Fuck. This shoe, man, when this shoe dropped, I was at ComplexCon, right? And this guy that was working the booth is like, yo, I'm a big fan, blah, 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 check this out. Like, I know there's a long line, but there's this, there's a, a Just Don, and I think a Trav, uh, Air Force One, right? That was all part of that drop he's like i could get you all of them or whatever um you don't have to pay me retail and like he asked for me and my wife and joni was like yeah i'll take all three and i'm like nah i'll just take the just on i'll just take the just on <laughs> yeah. dog this shoe like like yeah. oh my god it's so like so i roll up to the booth with mayor right okay We're both rolling around we get to the booth and dude's like what you need you need all of them so there it goes yeah, we need all of them. My man needs all of them too, but we wear the same size. So people think he's trying to double up. Right. right? So now here I am showing dude my shoe size. Yo, look, this is my shoe size. They give us the shoes. We we don't even open the bags. We get back to the car. We're throwing all the shoes in Mayor's trunk. They gave us, th instead of doubling up, they tripled up on those and gave us the wrong. Uh, it was missing a Don and three of those. So I'm over here like, ooh, I got two pairs. This is like a five thousand dollar shoe. Man caught two pair. Man caught two that day. This one, like my my wife's pair is so cooked, and the whole time I'm like, nah, these are, nah, this aluminum foil swoosh. Ah, yeah. nah, yeah. hell no. Nah. Now I look at them and I'm like, ah. That's why you can have them. Five bands, nah, man. I think they look better cooked than brand new, but yeah, there's a lot of crazy ones in here. Needless to say. Well, when this was reselling, I remember seeing this at a shop in Arizona for like twenty five thousand. I there's I don't even know where to look for this at this point. Let me see what I find. What's your favorite pair of shoes ever? I don't care if it's a hyper or general release. Like Black Cement Three, Black Cement Three, Air Max One Eighty. Which color? The original, that white. The white bunny. The white, yeah, that one. Air Max Ninety Infrared. That was the first pair of shoes I ever got. That's my second favorite of all time. Yeah. Right. That first pair that I got, I, I think I was nine. I, I couldn't have been no more than nine years old. My mother put them on layaway. They were 100 cents. And my mom was making $2.34 an hour. By the time she got them out of layaway, them shits didn't even fit. And I wore here. them into the ground, bro. Like the midsole gone. I was just walking like on knees and shit. <laughs> like high key, bro. That, yeah. that shoe to me is like, is everything. But it's been so, like yeah, it's, it's not, not sacred anymore. Not that was a sacred we, shooter. When I was on campus, I argued with them over it because there was infrared hits on my shoe. And I was like, yo, I want the OG infrared. And they're like, nah, it doesn't exist anymore. It's been washed so many times. Da, 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 no one knows nothing. There's like, there's no code for it. I was like, how is that possible? It's like such a legendary item. And you're telling me you can't figure this out? I like white cement fours are my favorite shoes ever. And after that, it's infrared 90s. Black threes or white threes. Is my number three. Nah, that's not, that's not uh, bro. Yo, this shit is nasty. This shit is outrageously yeah. nasty. Yeah. There's, a fucking, there's a bunch of random ones there. Nah, bro. So what was the story behind this LeBron? All right, so legit, I never waited online for shoes. I just wasn't about that. I was never about it. And my homie hits me and is like, yo, LeBron's going to be at House of Hoops signing shoes and posters, blah, blah, blah. So I went and stood online for two days. We stood for one whole day. You had to come back the next day with your shit, whatever, in line. So we go back. We stand online. And then that morning, you start hearing whispers, LeBron's not coming. So the guy at the door tells you, all right, every so often, we're going to throw in a random box tickets to the game tonight because LeBron's not coming. And long story short, I'm with my buddy. We get back in the car. I check my box. There's no tickets in him. We're all pissed off. He's like, oh, we never win nothing. I kid you not, I checked this box like five years later. And I opened up his pair and inside his pair. They, they, these hit different, especially now that the man passed away, bro. People didn't love those when they were out. They, nah, they, but they this is way better. Like, but the Dunk is way better than the Air Force. Like, yeah, so like, the, yeah, this is way better. Yeah. This orange hits totally right. different. If they were a bigger size, I wouldn't be giving them up. Yeah, I I don't blame you.
So day one, um, processing most of these shoes. Most of them were in the system. Couple flaws, which we expected, but handled. Um, it looks like we're gonna be able to get all this in and out in like two days worth of work. And then we're driving to Vegas, so road trip. I hope you're ready, Aaron. Yo, I'ma sum up day one real quick for you. We counted shoes, we inventory shoes, we took pictures of shoes, and we had an exhausting, grueling schedule, you know what I'm saying? We went back to the hotel, we got a little sleep, I drank some tequila at the hotel bar. Now we cut into day two, where you're gonna see JC opening his Vandalay 1 of 50 pairs, you know what I'm saying? Day two. It's crazy, bro. And then on the left, there's uh, like a secret pocket. Thank you, bro. Yeah, you see the pocket? Yeah. Always walk out the door. Yeah. But everything else is good to go to go in the truck. Yeah. See if he's ready to go. That's 28 out the door right now. 92. Sometimes you don't realize what you sign yourself up for until you start doing it. And uh, you know me, no huddle offense, finding creative ways to do stuff that I, I could honestly say. I've never done that before. Now that we got these 500-ish pairs in the truck, Ern and I are playing road trip. And the GPS says we're 2,500 miles, 2,525 miles from my store. You know, I like the roll in high fashion. We tried, well, we tried, I wanted to ride comfortably. So I was like, first we're like, okay, let's get a U-Haul. Then we're like, actually, no, let's get a Suburban and then get a hitch and then put a trailer on it. And well, you know, the whole plan started off solid. Then we realized you can't get a truck and a hitch and take the truck out of state. Because, you know, we live in these, in these creative times that we're saying we can't do stuff. So we spent about eight hours traveling the tri-state area to get this cargo van that uh, we rented from a laundromat. First time I've ever rented a vehicle from a laundromat. Where is it? It's that big one across the street, I guess. We legit rented a cargo van from a laundromat. No USB ports, no Bluetooth option, no, no we're, nothing, but we're, we're singing, dog. Yeah, we're singing and we're not stopping. So, Ern, if you get hungry, if you get hungry, bro, I'm going to just need you to open the window, stick your head out and just whatever you catch, that's what you eat. I'm sure you'll be able to find a meaty mat or two <laughs> along, so. the, along the way, right? Because, I mean, we are hunter gatherers, right? So, so. You know, and if you don't hunt, you don't eat. Let's see how long this takes and what we see along the way. I'll try not to hurt any animals along the drive. Lucky I got power steering. And as you can see by the windshield, this thing is not the most aerodynamic vehicle in the world. Yeah. We don't even have windshield fluid. Um, but you know, we're on our way. 34 hours to go. Sunlight looks great on you right now, though. The what? The what? Sunlight looks great. This uh, is such a good angle. I'm glowing. It is. I'm going to try to drive at least 20 hours. Today? Oh, my God. This is what we do, like, we just work. I'm like sitting here thinking like, what would 
the average person not want to do. And that's what we have to do. So this collection that we picked up, which was a little over 500 pairs, great stuff in here. There's a lot of Air Maxes, a lot of Dunks. Most of this collection is eight, eight and a half. And it came from somebody that Mayer introduced me to, um, somebody that's been in the industry for a, a really long time. Um, somebody that, if you guys go back and look on my Instagram, I posted uh, a Dunk, like a, like a Vandal High. Um, and, you know, he's, you've seen his shirts, you've seen his branding all over. You just haven't seen the guy, right? And in this video, you kind of see we, we blocked his face and that was because he asked, you know, he's built his whole brand not having to do the social media. And uh, there's, there's a couple reasons why. He wanted his work to speak for him. For him. And he didn't feel like it was about him. It's never been about him. It's just been about the brand. This, this is a pace like I've never seen before. I I know we're trying to get across the country fast, but this was originally a week-long trip with two flights, I thought. Here we are somewhere in the middle of Ohio in a Holiday Inn roadside. Uh, we've now driven five, six hours. This man has plans to do up to 16 tomorrow, five hours from now. Five hours from now. There's no stopping this, man. I, I asked to stop and could, could we maybe grab some food or a snack or something and I mean, hopefully tomorrow he sees a McDonald's and wants something, because today he, he told me to stick my head out the window and just, you know, whatever I could catch that were hunter-gatherers now. And people who did the cannonball race did it uh, with only 22 minutes and breaks and stops. So, I don't know, we got the uh, budgeta, as we call it, the budget van. Um, probably in the morning, work before we leave you, you may get a tour of the van, but... Today's the day we take names and kick ass. Or kicking ass and taking names, right? Or something like that? Yep. All right. It's not even six in the morning. I think I slept like three hours, if that. But I'm ready to drive till midnight. Me too. Let's go. I'm driving now. I'm taking a break. It's crazy, man. We got like a whole week left. It's a whole week left to drive, dog. I'm trying to find, you notice how I'm trying to find, I'm looking for a place to hang. In the mask. And Look gonna, above us, we got spots. It's probably dead otter up there or something. Dead sea otter or something. Okay, so we've, been, we've started calling the cargo van the Budge Tega, cause I drive a Bentega at home. And this is kind of as big as the, the Bentega, but it's a budget, so it's a budge Tega. Um, it, I figured out I don't have any cruise control, so, you know, your knee gets tired after. I've already driven, I drove, what, we left at 5.30 yesterday, I drove to about 12.18, so that's 7 hours yesterday. I've driven 3 hours today, so I've driven 10 hours, and about 9 hours, whoa, buddy. Woo, this guy almost clipped us. <laughs> clipped the Budge Tega. <laughs> he almost clipped the Budge Tega. So nine hours into the drive, kid, this is, uh, is that uh, the guy from uh, National Lampoons? Uh, he looks yeah. like Owen Wilson. Yeah, looks like Owen Wilson's stunt double. 
But yeah, so nine hours into the drive, I figured out a way to start uh, make my own cruise control. So what I'm doing is I'm pushing my foot all the way to the floorboard and then I'm putting my other, because it's a Ford and that like you, you feel it, it's like really yeah. low. You can kind of wedge your other foot on top of your foot as it's all the way to the floorboard and it's cruise control. I drove like that for an hour. Uh, top speed in the Budge Tega is 75 miles an hour it's, it throttles or it idles between two and three rpm so we're not burning the engine you know ideally you want to be a two rpm not three but yeah two and a half is manageable 30 minutes from indiana 30 minutes from indiana we're out late So we have a uh, unbagging. I'm here at one of my favorite places in the whole entire universe. A lot of people don't know about this if you're not in the Midwest, but Culver's is the shit. Butter burgers and root beer floats that turn into like volcanoes that shoot all over the place and then you make an, uh, you need to clean up on aisle five. But this is amazing. The butter burger's worth it. That first bite though, after Ern dropped my burger right out of the box, so and he yeah. grabbed, grabbed my burger. That first bite's probably gonna be the Rona. Uh, look at it. Can't wait. Truly amazing. I don't know. Maybe cop a shirt. Who let the hogs on? Showers, theater, bar, dentist, laundry, chiropractor. Oh, nice. What you need, dog? I will. Oh my god, this place is outrageous, bro. They got a fucking 53 foot trailer inside. Yep. If I wanted to be a professional truck driver, I have to get a professional truck driver bed. It comes with preset stains on the pillow and mattress. Oh. This is more my speed. Dude, we can really soup up the Bajetta with just two hours. Two hours and 200 bucks. Let's see what you can do. We'll just we'll just leave the truck here. I'll go get my dentist appointment. I'll check the Cairo out. I'll take a shower. And by the time you come back, it'll I'll be have souped a whole up. Bajetta. Yeah. Oh my God. And then after we hook up the Bajetta, maybe they'll put my picture up there. Not only do I want to be up there, but I want to be up there with my whole family with the handlebar mustache. I gotta get out of here. I feel the mullet is starting to grow on the back of my neck. <laughs> just uh plowed a, a condor <laughs> at 75 miles an hour i swear it just bro your pants are glowing dog <laughs> I can't help it. the the brightness from your pants just blinded the condor <laughs> that you just hit at 75 miles an hour we you just, just killed the condor you just clipped a big bird told this dude he killed the pterodactyl you said the aerodynamics 
on the magenta. Bro, but I think it was I think it was the reflection from your pants that blinded the bird. I can't even see it. I'm not laughing because of the death of the bird. I'm just laughing. Bro, I can close my eyes and I still see your pants. <laughs> um we had to stop to make sure that the vehicle wasn't damaged. Um <clears throat> I think what happened was the 3M from Ern's pants blinded the, the condor and uh... Yeah, I'll take a number 6 please. Would you like that with a double door? Sliding doors? Or revolving doors? I'll take sliding. It's crazy that you could literally buy anything to go. Like a house. You want to explain to me? You want to explain to me what's going on? So, we're driving through Utah, and at one point we passed a gas station which said next one 104. I looked down, we had 184. I said 80 is a nice little window. I think we get there with 80 to spare and fill the tank. I didn't know what a mountainous area we were headed into. We had the AC on a little, and I wasn't paying attention. So now we're pretty much like less than 10 miles away from having to push the truck and the gas station's 12 miles away, out of the way of where we were going. Yeah. Good job. It's a scenic ride though. The good side is yeah. the scenery. We don't even know if this gas station's open and there's <laughs> zero, we haven't had cell phone service for almost an hour. <laughs> they got a shirt in there that you gotta see. And I think it's worth buying. It says I ran out of gas. <laughs> and Emery. <laughs> I gotta get it. So Ern under uh, overestimated the gas tank, and we ran out of gas. And like we had to go into this like extremely small town. And we're here. We're getting gas. Are you? Are you no, no. You have the card. I have to. I have to get the camera ready. Because we literally ran out of gas right there. In the middle of nowhere. Hey, yo, so to sum it up, we end up at this gas station. We almost run out of gas, you know what I'm saying? But we don't, cause, cause we straight riders, you know what I'm saying? So we don't run out of gas. Now at this point, the rest of the story wasn't recorded cause it got late, two and a half days is grueling out on the road, you know what I'm saying? It's straight grueling. So we ended this, you know what I'm saying? It ends here, this is the end. There's no climax, there's no end. I'm gonna tell you the end. The end ended up with the sneakers back in Las Vegas. And we got this dog, we got 550 sneakers. They're up on the site, we gonna end it like this. Check out the link below. That's where you find the Vandalay collection, you know what I'm saying? Check it out, straight out of New York, some real hip hop shit, some real New York shit, you know what I'm saying? So thank you all for watching. We're gonna see you next time. That's it. Saratoga Ghost is out.